So let's get our cupboard stocked up with whole grains and a little whole grain flour today. I'm going to show you what we keep in the Cookus cupboard. Um, I always keep brown rice in there, so I got a big old bag of brown rice. I buy it in bulk because it's more economical that way. This is short grain brown rice, but you could use basmati brown rice, jasmine brown rice, long grain brown rice. They have all sorts of things. And then um, I also keep quinoa around. That's my favorite fast cooking whole grain. Makes a great dinner grain, makes a great salad, and it's so nutritious. Um, we always keep some oats. You can use rolled oats, those are fine. Um, what I've got here today, somewhere in my bag here, is steel cut oats. You could also use rolled oats, um, but Steve's kind of obsessed with steel cut oats. I don't know if you've seen the video or not. Um, yeah, so that's what we have. Um, then, so you got brown rice, quinoa, oats, nice basic grain. You might want to keep one other grain in stock. You could keep that very dramatic black wild rice, uh, maybe some hypoallergenic millet, uh, some nice polenta, or the grain I'm going to pick up today to store is kasha, which is toasted buckwheat groats. I like it because it cooks fast, very nutritious, cool whole grain. Then you're probably going to want some flour in your pantry too. You only want a whole wheat flour if you are a baker and you're going to make bread. But if you're using your flour for things, sorry, just a second. Hey, what do you need? Oh, that's so, that is so weird. Yeah, I would, never mind. Um, yeah, the whole wheat pastry flour is for cookies, breads, muffins, scones, things like that, because the whole wheat flour has too much gluten and it makes those other things really heavy. So you need that lighter, finer grind with le less gluten. Steve? Um, yeah, so I got whole wheat flour. Now you'll notice that most of these bags are pretty big. I've got about five pounds of grain in each one of these. And these should hold for about a month, depending on how many people are currently living in my house. Other whole grains that I keep around that package products are uh, soba noodles. Those are nice. Those are made out of buckwheat and wheat. Um, and corn tortillas, because I'm kind of crazy about fish tacos and huevos rancheros and things like that. Then you probably also want to keep a loaf of bread in your house. Um, I like to buy local bread, you know, from a local bakery if possible. And I always check the ingredients, make sure there's not very many. This one just has four whole wheat flour, water, salt, and yeast. Nice. Now I'm just going to go pay for this stuff. You want to keep the refined grains in your diet kind of down and those whole grains up because research shows that ingestion of whole do grains... Your, do you have your bag? Oh, yeah. Um, it helps prevent cardiovascular disease and diabetes, obesity, certain kinds of cancers too. I guess it's the B vitamins and, and the fiber too because the fiber keeps all those tubes flowing and also the fiber in the grain helps you feel full so you don't eat quite as much. It's a good deal. Say, uh, listen, I don't, your cake didn't work out for me. My cake? Your cake. In your book? Which cake? The, the ginger molasses cake. I don't have a ginger molasses cake in my book, no. You look like the woman on the back of the book. Really? Can you smile? Fifty bucks, well, under fifty bucks for this whole thing. Pretty nice. So I buy the grains and flours and everything in bulk, much less expensive that way. And then I bring it home and I store the whole grains in these jars. And then I put them on a shelf in a dark, cool place, and they'll stay perfectly fine for six to nine months at least that way. The flowers are a different story because they've been ground and the germs exposed, uh, they can go bad faster. So I put them in little containers like this and store them in the refrigerator or the freezer. Yeah, it's easy. Then it's all there, ready to 
work.